I'm in Roseville, California. It's been fast event. Hey, my name is Ryan, and I do, uh, you know, I do some stunt driving in movies and TV here and there, you know? Like, uh, are you based in LA? I am based in LA, yes. So what's your latest project? Um, uh, I worked on 911 Lone Star on Tuesday before I flew here. Uh -huh. uh, we just drove some cars through the dirt, uh, played a cop, as per usual. <laughs> and uh, got out and uh, shot some guns, and that was my day. Okay. Yeah. So how did you get into this uh, profession? Uh, so I started in go-karts when I was six, and I raced till I was about 21. And then I got into drifting uh, in high school with all of my friends, um, and I got in a lot of trouble. And then I took it to the track, and I picked up my Pro 2 license for Formula Drift, and then I did that. And then from there, I went to Japan and competed in King of Nations. Wow. And then from there, I got into stunts. Wow, you, you, you are basically, are you a car guy? Been a car guy, yeah. Are you Are you a crazy driver? No, well, yeah, uh, here and there. You know, I've tried to slow down a little bit. Uh, okay, know. I think I met the right person because <laughs> if you watch my channel, you see I'm kind of crazy too about driving the Vinfast VFA. Yeah. All right, let me let me show the, my audience, me and you. I met, I met the, guy, the right guy, Ryan. <laughs> nice to go. So Ryan, are you from Roseville or from Northern California? So I actually grew up in Roseville. Oh, really? Yeah, and I live in LA now. Oh, I see. So it was fun to be able to come home, work here, hang out with my parents. Uh -huh. Nice home cooked meal. Yeah, this, this is a really nice area. So this is like, um, a lifetime is like, like a high end, um, sport club or something yeah so this is like the high-end gym in roseville um the membership's like 230 bucks a month maybe. wow yeah so so you so why are you with uh why are you wearing a vinfast shirt today so i got a phone call from ron at the driving connection uh -huh. and vinfast needed some drivers to come and hang out and drive some cars around for him and so i was like let's do it you know uh -huh. so that's what we're here doing driving some vin fast around okay so tell me uh when did you first uh heard of vin fast i first heard of vin fast in 2021 i believe um but i hadn't driven one until earlier this year and um i like them i do they're not a bad car Especially for the price point comparative to like, say Tesla or Rivian um, or Lucid for that matter. Um, if the, if their bang for your buck is a lot better. Uh -huh. So are you driving um, uh, VFA 2024 or 2023? 2024. 2024. Yeah. So what happened here? There's no, no, oh yeah, they have maps right yeah. now. So I just. You have data? Okay, so the map's working. Oh. Yeah, the maps are working. So, how how much do you know about the uh, Vinfast VFA? I know a decent amount, and I'm not a product specialist, obviously. Um, but I know that you know the normal specifications, and you know the price point on them, and you know the differences between the V8 or the uh, VFA Plus, and then the economy model. Um, but other than that, there are more knowledgeable people than me that know more specifics about the car itself. Uh-huh. Oh, look like there's another V8 in front of us. I think that is Cloudy going to drop some people off. It is, that's Cloudy. <laughs> Alright, is that from the VinFast uh, sales team or something? Uh, Cloudy is also part of the driving connection. Um, I actually met Cloudy uh, a few months ago on a VinFast event down in uh, Irvine, California, and that was my first experience driving a VinFast. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, um, as a driver of uh, the VFA, can you sh share with me and uh, my YouTube uh, audience uh, what do you like about it and what, what's the weakness of the VinFast VFA and what are the strengths? Um, okay, in my opinion, I think, I think that the 
interior for me um, and the schematics of the screen work a lot better than um, like the Rivian or the Tesla because I've, I've driven Teslas and I've had the screens go out while I was driving and I was you know then I was using the maps and then I got lost <laughs> which is a downfall um, I think the interior is a little more refined on the car itself um, and you know I think I think overall it's a pretty pretty decent car uh, for the price um, handles well you know, decent acceleration you know um, I think that the price point is great uh, downfalls um, I'm sure that you know there are kinks that they need to work out um, the lane assist for me kind of drives me nuts to be honest it always keeps pulling me right or left no matter what I do um, you mean the lane as assist yeah the lane assist which you know you can turn off which yeah, is fine. yeah. Um, but that's my honest opinion on that um, other than that I think you know for what it is I think it's an okay car uh -huh. personally So, um, what do you think about the the, the drive uh, handling? Um, I think it handles pretty well. Um, I haven't been able to take it around a track yet, which uh -huh. I'd like to do. But um, I I think it handles pretty well. It's it's decently quick, which I like. Um, the charge on it is is also really good. Uh, we drove them all day yesterday. And I think we all got down to, I think, 40% maybe at the end of the day, 50, um, which is great. So what you don't like uh, so far I hear is that uh, you don't like the about the car is the the Vinfast VFA is the, the lane assist. That's really about it. And, and you know, that's all, the only that's the only thing. And in all honesty, you can turn that off. Uh -huh. you know? So, so why 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 would there's uh, so many people? Uh, uh, I mean, they they say this car have a lot of problem, like uh, they give them headaches and uh, dizzy, and it's very noisy, and uh, I don't, I don't, you know, like the comfort. The, I'm not sure about the headaches and the dizziness, but you know, I can tell um, that the rear shocks are very squeaky. Um, and I know that they had been replacing them from, from what I was told. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a definitely an issue. I'm not sure about the headaches. I, I haven't heard anything on that. Um, I have gotten a headache driving it around. <laughs> um, but I mean, it, it's, to me, it's comfortable. I haven't driven it more than, you know, 20 miles, so I can't say anything on a long you know on a long-term drive uh -huh. um, but to me it seems to seems to be all right okay um, compared to other uh, EV do you, do you feel the VFA is pretty um, um, you think you think this VFA is pretty com compatible or you think it's uh, because a lot of people uh, talk, put you know they talk down to, about the VinFast and VFA especially the um, a lot of uh, famous YouTubers. Okay. Uh, do, do you feel? I don't know. You 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 watch any any of those videos? Do you feel uh, they they have given uh, a fair VinFast VFA a fair chance? Or do you think? So they I haven't watched any of the VinFast videos on YouTube. Uh -huh. um, my only experience with the VinFast has just been driving them around town for these uh -huh. events. Uh -huh. um, and I've driven the Teslas. I've driven the Rivians. I've driven the Lucids. And to be honest with you, in that fact, the fact that I've driven them all, uh -huh. they all feel about the same. So if, if that's the, what it's going to come down to is, on, is how it feels, right? Uh -huh. Then why would I spend, uh, you know, 100K on a, a Rivian, let's say, or even 70K on a Tesla uh -huh. when I could, when I could own a, when I, when I could own a VinFast for like 43K? Oh, I out see. the door, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. 
and it and if that's to me they to me all of those all of these cars have uh -huh. felt about the same uh -huh. and i think that I, th I think i think most of the rivians the teslas the lucids are super overrated for what they are in my opinion Okay. I don't think that I don't think they're worth that much money. Okay, and one more question. A lot of people, uh, I you know, I met a lot of people in public. They love the, the the style and design of the car of the VF8 because it looked nothing like an EV. That's right. So, so uh, you, know, you see, you yeah, and the designs. So, but but in contrast, some some um, some people in the media, um, some a reviewer, they they said the car look design looked very outdated. It looked like it from 20 years ago and they say some of them say it ugly <laughs> and how, how how do you like the design of the vinfast we have a since you have seen it uh for quite some I, time i don't mind the design i don't think it's 20 years outdated i think it's i think it's an up-to-date look i don't think it's I, don't, mm. I think it looks better than the teslas i don't really love the way the teslas look um i do like the way the rivians look i like those trucks mm -hmm. uh i like the lines on the trucks i don't like driving them i don't think they're I don't think they're that great, but how come you don't like the, the driving of the Rivian? It just feels like a big Tesla. I just it doesn't handle that well. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of boxy. It's just it's in and, and then you get in the interior and it feels mm -hmm. to me it feels cheaply made, which is weird for it being a hundred grand. You'd think it's be a little bit more refined, but you know. But you you feel the Vinfast V8 is um, you feel comfortable driving it? Do you feel? good driving it or did, feel, are, are you embarrassed being seen in a vfa <laughs> no i feel comfortable driving it that you know uh, one thing i don't love is that there's no no speedometers nothing going on here right you do have your heads up display which is nice but i'd like to have more telemetry here uh -huh. that's i think that's just because oh instead of you're the flat uh yeah, yeah. dash <laughs> exactly right? yeah you so, know i i i felt like that in the beginning but now you got used to I it i got used to it yeah. and, and and i love the the simplicity of it yeah yeah um the one that i did like the most was the vf9 the more square looking uh -huh. vinfast i think it comes out later this year uh, -huh. uh we had one of those down in irvine and i did like that uh -huh. a lot okay Thank you for sharing with um, me and my uh, YouTube audience about your experience with VinFast VF8. Is there anything you would like to share with um, VinFast, uh, how they can improve the car? Like, what do you see off the bat that they, they should uh, try to improve uh, as soon as possible about the VinFast uh, VF8? Well, I know that they're coming out with an adapter for the Tesla chargers, which I think is extremely smart. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, I think it's pretty well done. Um, I don't know if I love the the park, the park button, button drive. Uh -huh. I don't know if I love that as much, but I mean, you know, other than that, it feels pretty good. I think the VF9, the button, oh, it's still down here, huh? The VF9 is still down here. I haven't been inside the VF9. Yeah, the VF7, VF7, the, the, the gear up here. Okay. Yes. So you know, I, I think in a, in the future they may uh, make a change. Yeah. How about the software? Have you messed enough with it that you you felt there's something that should be done? So I to haven't messed it? with the software enough. I think the interface is pretty you know pretty easy to use, mm -hmm. um, for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, now, there are things where like I remember getting in and having no clue how to to adjust my mirrors, and I mm -hmm. had to have somebody tell me. Uh -huh. um, so on that front of like. Is it super friendly and straightforward to use? Not a hundred percent, but I think that if you the mirror right here, yeah, yeah, and then your steering wheel is obviously here, in and out, up and down. Um, but I do love. Here's one thing I do love is the heated and cooled seats menu for the car, which is so easy to use. I haven't haven't experienced that yet. I think it's pretty great. Have you used the voice command in this car? I have not used the voice command yet. Okay. You think the VinFast VF8 is okay, huh? It's not. I think it's okay. I, you know, I don't have, I don't have too many complaints. Uh huh. Uh, you know, I, you know, I haven't done any real long drives with it, um, but I think it's okay. Okay. What you think? What you think? Uh, you think the ordinary, um, 
customer uh, who looking for an EV, you think that they're gonna do all right with this car? Yeah, I think people that like EVs tend to come and sit in the car and be like, oh, this is actually a pretty nice car for what it is. I, I gave a ride earlier to a guy that owns a Tesla and he was like, I actually like this thing quite a bit. And I was like, yeah, you know, and then I told him the price point and everything and he was shocked. It's, it's, it's actually a really good deal for this car, to be quite honest. Okay, right now, what, what's the, the best deal uh, they have right now from, uh, from being fast for this, uh, for this car? Right here? I, think the, I think the best deal they have out the door, I want to say, was 42000 And then you could lease it and for 3000 down, and then your payments were $239 a month, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's the lowest monthly payment. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah. Okay, all right, again, thank you, uh, yeah. Ryan. Have a great day. You too. We are at Lifetime Athletic. Here's the white VMA. Here is the Sunset Orange VMA. See the front. I almost never opened my front. The white VFA. Oh wow, this is black. I like black too. Oh, super nam VFA. Tin le. Bay tam chin. <laughs> he say, I want that orange car. Yeah. Uh -huh.